Welcome to this brief overview of the 1099 toolkit. We're going to cover the main features of this toolkit that solves several problems in Business Central having to do with 1099s. The first and biggest problem that everyone is going to face that creates 1099s for non-employee comp compensation is that the IRS created a new form effective this year and non-employee compensation gets reported on this form which doesn't exist in any version of Business Central or in NAV. You have to have this if you're going to print and report 1099 non-employee compensation. So in order to f facilitate that, that, we've added in a function that says create the new 1099 NEC code and our form. The other thing that we've done is added in a function that will recode any transactions or vendors that have been coded to the NMISC07. So we go in and we say, we pick MISC07, and we recode it, and here's what the problem is, is that this code, NEC, doesn't exist in Business Central. So now, if when you click OK, everything will be reclassified. The second problem that, that uh, we face is that frequently people have, uh, employers have no idea that they have problems with their 1099, with their federal IDs uh, that are coded on the vendor cards. So we've added in a report that says vendor federal ID issues. When you uh, run this report, you'll see any issues that you might have. For example, these two don't have a 1099, have a federal ID. They will not get a, a, a 1099 even if they're supposed to. So you may, this will tell you that they, there's, it's missing. Another problem is that it might not be exactly nine characters. If it's not nine characters, it will not print a 1099. These two were, were uh, typographically, there were typographical mistakes and they were not nine characters as was this. This one is a duplicate. We accidentally entered in a duplicate federal ID in two different vendors. So that needs to be corrected. This is the first step in processing 1099s. Then we move on to the heart of the system, which is the vendor prep information. The vendor prep information opens up a screen and shows you all of the payments that have been made. Now, there's several problems in, in Business Central. Here's one example. We have one company, AR Day Property Management, that was paid $500. Now, the limit on non-employee compensation is $600. These people should not get a 1099 because they weren't paid enough. Business Central will send them a 1099 anyway. The second major problem is on here. Although a payment was made to Coolwood Technologies for $3,040, as if we take a look at this invoice, so we highlight this line and we say show, view the, under, the re, underlying invoice for this, for this, uh, this one. For this one, we want to view the invoice. We see that this invoice was for 15 chairs and $750 worth of consultant services. Well, only the consultant services are reportable as, as uh, on the 1099. You, uh, you're not supposed to report merchandise purchases, only the, the labor purchases. So in fact, although the entire invoice was for 3,000, only 750 is reportable. This field, although it is there in Business Central, although you have to add it through, uh, through design, uh, even if you update this information for IRS 1099 amount is 750, Business Central is going to print a, a 1099 for the entire amount regardless of what you have here. So we've solved that problem. This screen is very helpful for you to be able to identify what needs to be done so that you can simply click on a line. There's the invoice that's related to it. 
you can open up the invoice, research it, make a decision on how much is reportable and how much isn't. Finally, we add two different reports to help you view the information that's going to get printed. One is the information summary. And this shows you what 1099s are going to get report are are, are reported and how much the uh how what the uh what the 1099 amount is that's going to that's going to be reported. So this this is a summary so that you can view the 1099s that will be printed. If you want to see more detail, we have another report that shows the individual lines that are going to be that are associated in summary. So this is this is how we're going to uh, we're going to print it. So if we look at the London Postmaster, these were all coded as non-employee compensation, and they total one hundred and twelve thousand. There were four lines that are are going to be uh, added together, and this will be the reported amount. This one is still an MISC 07. We haven't recoded it yet, but we'll need to recode that. These, this guy, Coolwood Technologies, will receive the INT 03, and there's the total. So this will show you line by line and the, and the total amount that's going to be printed. So with all of this, we've solved several basic problems that Business Central has with 1099s and added in a way to view information rather than simply printing the 1099s, which will most likely not be correct or omitted. That's a brief overview. Uh, we'll go into more depth uh, later. Thank you very much.